at the Chinese painting. So from the theme, okay, from the topics of the Chinese painting, uh, we can uh, we can classify the Chinese painting into um, four um, groups: figure painting, daily life scene, and the landscape, flower and a bird. So flower and bird includes uh, all the animals. So today we are going to focus on the figure painting, landscape painting, and flower and bird painting. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the figure painting. Uh, now you can see two pictures. Okay, the two pictures are very, very, very old. And the first one, okay, the first one um, can be dated back to 2000 to 3000 years ago. And uh, from on this picture, so what can you see? What can you see in the picture? What, what do you think? The image on the picture. Lost your first one. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. The dragon. Oh, uh, maybe uh, a master worshiping <laughs> or like something. Oh, master. Okay, worship. Oh, mm. like uh, you practicing kung fu? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lofty, I guess. Oh, practicing kung fu, maybe. Okay, a master is practicing kung fu. Okay, any other ideas? Uh, maybe worshiping uh, some kind of spiritual thing. Ah, uh, okay, maybe worshiping some uh, like in, uh, in creature things. Very good. Any other ideas? I guess someone is. Oh, she, I think it's a bird, vermilion bird. Uh, sorry, it's a family party. No, a vermilion bird. Oh, bird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, the, 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 yeah there is a bird. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, any other ideas? Lushy. Yes. Lushy. Lushy. Yeah, yes. Is that vermilion bird, fire phoenix? Uh -huh. Phoenix, yes. The, the bird yeah, is yeah, phoenix. Yes, very good. Okay, so there are two animals. Okay, there are two animals. One is uh, so actually it's not. They are not real animals. Okay, they are like god animals. The first one is phoenix, and the next one. Can you see uh, something like a, it's a long, long animal? It's very vague now. It's not very clear because it's very old. Uh, okay, this one here. So it's a. It's a dragon, okay. So it's a dragon and a phoenix, okay. So uh, on the painting, okay, on the painting is a woman with dra a dragon and a phoenix. But actually, um, because this uh, this painting was is very very old. It was uh, from Zhou Dynasty, East Zhou Dynasty. So we learned that East Zhou Dynasty was is about two thousand years ago, and before paper invention, and uh, it. It was there, so uh, and the, the the scientists or the artists actually they don't know about the theme of this um, painting. Okay, so just um, uh, there are many like uh, explanations. Okay, there are many different ex uh, explanations. For example, some people okay, some artists think that uh, this woman like. Um, uh, uh, is worshiping the 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 god of the phoenix and the dragon, and uh, she hopes that the the gods will lead him, uh, lead her, sorry, lead her to the heaven, uh, to a happy afterlife. Okay. So there are different explanations, but we really don't know. But um, all we know that uh, know is that uh, this paper, okay, sorry, uh, this painting was very is very very old. So uh, this painting was drawn like before paper invention, right? So what do you think? Okay, what do you think? What, what material is it? What material is it of the painting? Uh, skin of an Oracle animal. Bone. Oracle bone. I'm sorry? Bone. Skin. Uh, Lao Shi, hilly stock. Animal skin. Yeah, animal Lao skin. Ah, yeah. animal skin. Um, okay, yeah, I can. Okay. Animal skin can be preserved for so long time. 
I'm not very sure, okay? <laughs> no, it's not animal skin, okay? Uh, it's silk, okay? This is silk. So uh, before paper, paper invention, uh, Chinese people um, drew pictures or uh, wrote characters on silk and some uh, bones, right? Before we learned that the oral bones are the bones. Okay, so this is silk. And this is the oldest painting. Okay, this is the oldest painting found in China right now. And this is a figure painting. And uh, please look at the, the picture on the right. Uh, what do you see in the picture? Uh, some kind of goddess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's some kind of goddess. Very good. So uh, do you know the, re can you guess the religion of this goddess? Nua. Uh, Nua is not the re religion, it's just some legends. It's, uh, I'm asking about the religion, for example, uh, is it um, uh, Christian or Buddhism? Buddhism. Ah, very good. Okay. Buddhism. <laughs> yeah, it's Buddhism. Yes, it's Buddhism. Well, she's, it also looks like the mermaid, Loshi. It's like a mermaid? Really? <laughs> yeah, Loshi. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, these are the legs, I think. It's not the tail of the, the, the fish. <laughs> Okay, looks like a mermaid, but it's not. Okay, it's like, and um, it's a um, uh, Buddhist uh, Buddha. Okay, this is like a Buddha, um, Bo Buddhism goddess. Uh, uh, so please, okay, when you uh, type words in the chat box, please only type English. Okay, only type English. Don't type your uh, your language here. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is uh, okay. Th this is a Buddhism character, and um, before we learn about Silk Road, right? Uh, so Silk Road on the Silk Road, there is a, a in very very important city called Dunhuang. Dunhuang is now in China is in Gansu province, uh, Gansu province, and it's a master path through the Silk Road. And um, uh, and the Buddhism, okay, Buddhism was introduced to China uh, many years ago, okay, thousands of hundreds of years ago through the Silk Road, and um, uh, at the city of Dunhuang, so a lot of uh, different uh, cultures and uh, they blend and uh, they blended, and uh, that's why there are many uh, Buddhism artworks in Dunhuang right now. And uh, this is only uh, one piece of the artworks. So this is a Buddhism um, character and it's called uh, Flying uh, Apsaras. It's about uh, four, uh, fourth century, uh, century AD Buddhism arrival in China, when, when Buddhism arrival, uh, arrived in China. Um, so right now there is a very Im, very important museum in this city, and if you are interested in the Buddhism um, culture, um, Buddhism statue, or Buddhism stories, uh, when you come to China, you can visit this city. And uh, right now, uh, the city okay, the city is not very <laughs> or Buddhism. Yes, yes, or Buddhism. Okay, the city is not uh, very developed because uh, the environment there is not very good and it's circled with uh, deserts. So that's why, okay, that's why the paintings are protected very well because not too many people visit there. Okay, that's why the paintings are protected very well. And all the uh, paintings, okay, this painting is on the wall, okay. This painting is on the wall, it's not on the paper or on the silk or on the animal skin, it's on the wall. So besides the different paintings, you can also see uh, many Buddhism st uh, statues there. So, and, um, of, and another, another thing is look, look at the color, okay? Look at the color of the painting. So what colors do you see? Green. Green, uh, white, white, orange. Orange, mm -hmm. oh, very good. Okay, so it's like um, more than one thousand years ago. Do you think the uh, 
uh, this painting is colorful. Yeah. Mm, very good. Okay, so this painting is very colorful. It means that back, uh, back to like more than 1,000 years ago, there are many colors. Why? Because um, maybe, okay, maybe at that time, the mining, uh, that mining technology was already very developed. That's why they had enough uh, pigments to draw the colorful paintings. Okay, so also from the paintings, we can know the, the technology, the science, science development in ancient time. So these are the two uh, very old paintings in China. And now uh, we go to the Tang Dynasty. Okay. As we mentioned, as we learned um, the history of China before, we learned that in, in Tang Dynasty, it's a golden dynasty, in golden time, a golden age in, uh, in, in Chinese history. So from this painting, okay, from this painting, we can see uh, the painting is more colorful. You see the painting is more colorful and um, it's more realistic and it's more detailed. So we from, <laughs> and uh, you, we can have a look at the clothes, the horses, and it's very, very detailed. So the painter's skills, okay, the painter's skill were, uh, were, uh, were very high back to Tang Dynasty. And also we can have a look at the figure from the figure of the painting, we can we can know that in Tang Dynasty, uh, people are like uh, a, cat, a kind of chubby or kind of fat. And these are the two examples of uh, paintings from Tang Dynasty. And we also learned that, and we also learned that, uh, um, okay. Hello, please. Okay, when you when you chat in the chat box, okay, please focus on the painting on the topic. Okay, don't talk about other things. Uh, so when we uh, when we learn about the history, we learn that in Tang Dynasty it was very open to the world, and many uh, countries, many countries, uh, sent some diplomats or. Um, some scholars to China to learn about the culture, learn about the, uh, the, 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 the government management. And one of the country is Japan. One of the country is Japan. And that's why uh, we can have a look at the Japanese picture, Japanese painting. So, you see, look at this Japanese painting. Okay, this is Japanese painting. Okay, and these are uh, these are the painting from Tang Dynasty. So, can you find some uh, some similarities? Okay, can you find some similarities between the two figures? Okay, you can share your ideas in the chat box, or you can just uh, turn on a um, microphone to share your ideas. Can you find the similarities between the two figures? Oh, uh, sure. Maybe they all are women, and also clothes. maybe they are well. Figure. Their clothes are looking same. <laughs> oh, they're uh, okay. They are both women. Okay, women. Yeah, and they look the same. But women also. Uh, yeah, uh, they wait, seems what, like they're from belong to royal family. Lotion. Okay, which parts are sim uh, are same? Are the same? So they are not goddess. Oh, they are not goddess. So they're look, asking, looking at the left side. Okay, dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hairstyle. Okay. Um, dress hairstyle. code is same, I guess. They are not goddess. Okay, they are not I'm goddess. Not so sad. Uh, yeah. um, dress code. Uh, sorry. Okay, these they look code. like emotional uh, goddess, but this is not. Okay. <laughs> So just look at the. Lushi, first they, uh, and these and women goddess. seems like they are warrior, Loshi. Uh, they're warrior. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of. Yeah. So we can have a look at the similarity of, um, the, of the two paintings, like the figures. Both of them reese, Laoshi. Uh, sorry? Both of them reese. 
Uh, like really? That. Uh huh. Very good. Okay, you can like, have a look at the face. Okay, the face is not skinny. Right? Is it skinny? It's kind of fat. Okay, it's kind of fat, kind of chubby, and uh, and you can look at the eyes, the shape of the eyes. Okay, it's similar, and uh, and the mouth. Mouth is but both are very small, right? So uh, this is kind of beauty standards in Tang Dynasty. Okay, beauty standards in Tang Dynasty. Chubby face, uh, small eyes, and a small mouth, a small nose. Uh, so, and that, that's why, okay, that's why in ancient uh, Japan, they also, uh, they also use this kind of beauty standards. So this is the, uh, these are some examples of paintings in Tang Dynasty. So we can say, we can see that the paintings in Tang Dynasty are uh, more detailed, uh, more colorful and more realistic. Oh. And then these are, these pictures are from Song Dynasty. Mm, can you share, can you see some difference? Okay, some difference between the pictures in Tang Dynasty and Song Dynasty. Which one is more colorful? Which one is more detailed? In Song Dynasty. Mm -hmm. Song Dynasty. Yeah, very good, Grace. So in Song Dynasty, okay, the painting is more detailed. So you can look at this. Uh, Gu Qing, look at this table, you see the fan, and it's more colorful because the technology is more developed okay, than in Tang Dynasty. So uh, then continue okay, to present day, to modern world. So um, the artists today in China, um, so actually there are different artists Okay, some, some artists um, began to learn uh, the different paintings, maybe Western paintings, but there are still some very outstanding um, Chinese painting artists. And they, of course, they continue using the te uh, techniques of the Chinese painting, but they learn different, and they, they have more okay, inspiration from different cultures. And if you go to the, if you go to the art, or painting schools, you need to learn different techniques from different kinds of painting. So they can blend, okay, they may, they may blend different techniques of different paintings. And then, uh, in the end, they have their own style. And uh, right now the world is open, uh, the, uh, the, all the countries are open to each other and they have more chances to see the other countries, to see other cultures and to see, the techniques of, from, of painting in other countries. So that's why they, uh, in modern world, and there are more topics, okay? So they use paintings to express, to depict different um, topics. So for example, this first one, uh, first one, we can also see that it's um, Chinese painting with brush, with brush. And this one, uh, this one, maybe, okay, maybe for some people, it's not, it's not Chinese painting anymore, but it's, it still is, okay, it just um, um, blend some other techniques in this picture. So this is the figure picture. Now, let's look at the uh, landscape painting. Landscape painting is very important, very, very important in China. So in Chinese, okay, in Chinese we call it shan shui hua. Uh, shan means mountain, shui means water. Okay, mountain and the water painting. So as we can see that um, at the, when the, the first, okay, the first painting we, did, uh, we found right now um, is a figure painting, right? Because um, as human, okay, human first um, focus on the, on, their, on themselves. And then they find that uh, human is so boring. Okay, human is so boring. They don't want to use their techniques to depict the humans, to depict the people. They want to enjoy the nature. Okay, they want to enjoy the nature because they want to 
be a harmony, uh, harmonious with the nature. So that's why they begin to, okay, they switch their focus on the nature. And uh, that's why the landscape painting is, um, became, popular, became popular, especially from Tang Dynasty. When people's uh, living standard is high and when the economic is highly developed and the people began to focus on the nature and began to, uh, to like pursue some harmony uh, with the uh, harm harmonious living style with nature. So that's why they focus on the landscape painting. So we can have a look at um, uh, the, the picture, the first picture. Sorry, this, this, should, this should be Tang Dynasty, or this typo, okay. Um, so in this picture is called Emperor Tang went to Sichuan. Uh, Sichuan is a, is a city uh, in the city in the west part West part of China, and in Sichuan there are a lot of mountains. Okay, there are a lot of mountains, and the emperor Tang went to Sichuan and um, uh, uh, and a painter, okay, a painter went with him, and drew the picture on the road. Um, and this one, okay, this one, this picture is from Song Dynasty. Okay, now. Could you please tell me which one is more colorful? So which one is more colorful? Lush, from the first one, Lo Shidong Dynasty. Mm, very Lush. good, very good, okay. So the first one is more colorful, okay. So actually before, okay, before when we, so in for the figure painting, or for the figure painting, we, on, we know that some, the paintings from Song Dynasty is more colorful because the technology is more developed. However, however, when we talk about the landscape painting, the paintings from Tang Dynasty is more colorful. And the Song Dynasty, they don't use colors. They don't use colors, they just use the ink. They just use ink to, to, depict, to depict the landscape. Um, do you, can you guess the reason? Can you guess the reason why they don't use the colors to draw, a, draw the painting? Any ideas? They have more colors, but they don't want to use it. Why? Let me see any ideas in the... In the no chat box, no. You can just guess. Or she maybe some just to more focus on paintings. Mm. Very good. Focus on the then the you know, use. You know ah, very and the good. colorness, yeah, And the colors to simplify the drawing. Omar, to simplify the drawing. Mm. Maybe. Okay, maybe it's maybe. And just now, Hassan said that they want to focus on the paintings, right? Uh, very good. Any other ideas? Because the event. <laughs> no, ink, ink was invented um, like many years ago. Okay, It's a kind of sketching. Uh, it's not sketching, actually. Um, do you know that right now there is a fashion fashion trend and like um, people is pursuing like a um, simpler life and uh, simpler designing in, in right now. For example, some people just um, uh, wear some white and black clothes. Although right now there are many, uh, many different designs, many colors they can use, but they don't want to wear the colorful clothes. And they just don't want to wear the simple designing clothes, just the white and the black. 
Yeah, Laoshi. Maybe because simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. <laughs> That's why. Mm, yes, yes. And I'm also, and I'm personally, I'm also you know, really fond in you know simplicity. Mm. So, mm, so maybe you can imagine that the country is like um, it's like a like a man. Okay, the country is a man, and uh, the Tang Dynasty, the Tang Dynasty is like the man's. 30s or 40s and at the 30s or 40s or okay 20s or 30s maybe okay 20s or 30s and at the 20s or 30s a man the man just um, like colorful things like to buy things like like to shopping and like the bling bling things okay but okay after um after maybe 10 or uh, 20 years the man does not want to uh, have the colorful things. They just want to pursue some inner peace, and they focus on their their own heart, their uh, the mind, not to focus on the outward, the world outside. So, so the Song Dynasty, okay, the Song Dynasty is is like um, the man's maybe forties or fifties. Okay, so mm, the man is bored with the the fascinating words and uh, he just uh, want to stay at home drink some tea and uh, practice some tai chi and uh, uh, like enjoy the life okay the the peaceful life so you can imagine this the, the this country is like the history okay the history like the man so after highly sophisticated um, pig picture and they get bored with these colorful things and then they begin to pursue simplicity uh, that's why um, although in Song dynasty the mining techniques is technology is more developed the painting the painters didn't use the pigments didn't use the colorful pigments to draw pictures they just used ink and the brush to draw pictures. And um, even, even with the simple, the simple simplest is ink, you can also see the outline of the of the mountain, the water, the, the trees. It is more difficult, okay, to with the ink only. So this is the difference between Tang Dynasty and the Song Dynasty. And um, okay, and uh, here um, this picture is uh, drawn by Huang Gongwang, okay, who was uh, who lived in Yuan Dynasty. Uh, Yuan Dynasty is after Song Dynasty. So you see this picture, okay. This picture is even simpler, okay. This picture is even simpler than this one. Okay, Th this th this one is. Um, kind of okay, kind of complicated, but this one is even simpler. So, in this picture, okay, in this picture, what do you see? What can you see in the picture? Land. Land. Okay, there is some land. There is land. And what else? Some trees and okay. some mountains. Very good. Some trees, some mountains. Okay. Um, and also some houses. Do you, do you see some houses here? Some yeah, no, houses, houses in the forest, in the trees. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm, so to uh, modern world, okay, modern world, um, many artists, okay, many artists begin to blend different cultures, different techniques. For example, Zhao Wuji, uh, this artist, he was born in China. Okay, he was born in China in a high, um, a highly educated uh, family, and he learned um, painting when he was very young. And then he moved to France. Okay, he moved to France to learn uh, Western uh, writing tech. Uh, sorry, rest, uh, Western painting techniques. And then he like combined. Uh, Western 
uh, painting and a Chinese painting. And then he is a very famous uh, artist, even, uh, even in the world. So this is one of, her, one of his painting. So um, for many people, okay, it's just um, a mess, <laughs> a mess of ink, but he's the artist. So uh, what, do you, what can you see? Okay, what can you see in the picture? What can you see in the picture? So different people have different ideas. You can just, you, can just, uh, you are free to share your ideas. It's, it's a mountain covered with uh, ice, snow. Ah, a mountain covered with the ice. Uh, which one is the mountain? Hello, she maybe uh. it's mysterious and it has a many, you know, really hidden meaning, but I can found it, Lao Shui. Uh, it's kind of mysterious things, maybe. Yeah, Lao Shui. And it's maybe some mountain, maybe some mysterious things, what else? Um, what else? I don't know. Map. <laughs> she brought a map. Okay. Zakira, you can see elephant eye. Really? Uh, Zakira, can you circle the elephant's eye? <laughs> Where is the elephant's eye? I can also see it's a butterfly. Ah, a butterfly. Okay, who, who saw a butterfly? Me, Lachi. Okay, good. So this is, uh, yes, this is like an elephant's head. With... <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, this is and a butterfly. And uh, this is a butterfly. Uh, oh, yes, nice. It's a butterfly. What else? What else do you see? Uh, some uh, half uh, Farha says clouds, maybe. Okay. Boy who fell in love. Really? Pavel? Pavel, how, how, how did you get this idea? It's a boy who fell in love. A man kissing a woman. Really? Zakira, where? Where is the man? Where is the woman? Zakira came. <laughs> okay, other students, did you did you see a man kissing a woman? No, Lassie. <laughs> so Zakira was is very romantic. I can assume it like hugging. Uh, okay, this is a man, this is a woman. Yes, very good. So what do you think? Uh, what do you think the artist wants to express with this painting? To confuse us, Lao <laughs> To confuse us, maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, she is nothing else about our continental map. A man is beaten by a woman. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, this is the modern art. Okay, this is the modern art. So different people have different ideas from only one single picture. And uh, so actually, so uh, Zhao Wuji, this artist, use the ink to paint this picture, but but he uh, painted this picture like with the Western style, Western style Chinese techniques, and they he combined these two elements. It's very abstract painting, very good. So that's all for the landscape painting, and let's continue to the next one. Ah, uh, okay, this one. Uh, this man is called uh, Dong, Qi, Dong Qi Chang, and he lived in Shanghai. And he was also a, a famous artist in Qin Dynasty. And uh, his 
uh, his residence, okay, all their residence just near our campus. And so when you come to Shanghai, we can go to visit his uh, older residence together and then to have a look at his paintings. Now let's go to the uh, animals painting, so bird and a flower. Um, so for the flower and the bird painting, uh, there are different styles and there are many different styles. For example, you can have a look at this painting. This painting is uh, very detailed, very, very colorful. And we can have a look at the, the feather, very detailed and the eyes, the beak are very detailed. And uh, however, uh, there are some um, Chinese um, bird and flower pictures that are not that um, uh, detailed. It's very abstract, but we can also see the outline, the, the shape of the animals. For example, what do you see here? What do you see here? Oh, sorry. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp and... Oh, this is shrimp. This is shrimp. And what? Bird. Birds. Bird. Birds on the tree in, in a tree, right? Yeah. Uh, they are very, very cute. So they're not detailed, though. It's not a realistic. And um, this this one is uh, shrimps. Uh, it's called uh, it's uh, drawn by a, a artist, by an artist called Qi Bai Shi. And this painting, okay, this painting, okay, just now someone asked about the price of the painting, right? So this painting. Uh, was uh, in auction house before. Can you guess how much is the painting? How much is the painting in auction house? $10. $10. dollar which, <laughs> which one, Laoshi? $1 this million. Dollar. It's shrimp. Shrimp, I guess, is almost $10. $10? $10. Dollar. <laughs> yes, Laoshi. <laughs> Then uh, RMB? Of course not. Uh, maybe one million dollar. One million dollar. No. <laughs> then I don't know how much it is old. It's like uh, 12 million. What? 12 million dollar? Check. Uh, yeah. Let me let me think about the price. Okay. Let me check the price. Uh 1.2 million. Twelve uh yeah, twelve million. Twelve million dollars. Okay. Only My for gosh, the really shocking. <laughs> okay. Twelve yes. million dollars. Because this one is very, very uh this artist is very famous. Okay. Okay, oh, now let's look at some very interesting pictures. Uh, a fish and a bird. Okay, the fish and the bird. Uh, um, these two pictures were drawn by Zhu Da, uh, Zhu da who is from Ming Dynasty. Uh, before we learn about uh, the, uh, the history right, in Ming Dynasty, uh, the, the, the society was not that stable. And um, uh, after Song Dynasty, uh, Ming Dynasty, and um, the artists, okay, the art, the artists begin to began to focus more on the spirit spirits of the painting, not um, not only uh, focus on the physical appearance of the the painting. So you can have a look at the painting. There is only one fish or one bird on the painting. And, uh, and the, the fish and the bird, uh, the fish and the bird is very, very strange, actually. Can you find something special about the fish and the, and the bird? Uh, um, both of them used by water, black water color. Uh, the water color okay the water color yes and what i mean i mean the the bird i mean the bird and the fish the the the, the appearance of the bird and the fish and they have both some... of them are not looking realistic uh they are not realistic yes 
Uh -huh. can, you can pay attention to their eyes. Um, what happened to their eyes? They don't have eyes? Yeah, they have eyes, but, but look at the eyes. Where is the eyeball? <laughs> uh, upward. Yeah, they are eye... maybe trying yeah, to Yeah, they are looking eyes. something above them. They are rolling their eyeballs. Okay. Ah. They are rolling their eyeballs. Uh, so, and uh, like Western painting, and uh, Chinese pa Chinese painters also use the use the painting to express their feeling, to express themselves, and they focus on the spiritual of uh, of the human, and they want to express their ideas about the society, about the world, just like this picture. So, have you ever seen this famous picture, "Scream" by Monk? Uh, so, uh, now let's go to the group to discuss why, okay, why the painter drew the picture, the, the birds and the fish eyes like this. Uh, what do you think and what's your ideas? Okay, five minutes to go to the groups. <laughs> 